stay smooth skins much longer if we don't get a move on. Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about a missing person. No trace of where they've gone. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. Lead the way, Nick. All right, let's move fast. Follow me. This shouldn't take long. What's that? Look who's back. Look who's back.
one way to get that cool and pumping. Plenty of shops inside the city, if you need to trade. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Metal detective delivery at your service. Happy to be in a niche market, that's for sure. Here, every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. 
Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. It's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? And why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. Wait. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. Who were the gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. You think raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Don't lie to me, Nick. You're one of them. They made you. Yeah, I've heard it all before. You're a freak. You've got something to hide. Blah, blah, blah. But the truth is... People smart enough to build something like me are smart enough to cover their tracks, and arrogant enough to throw their unwanted trash into the Commonwealth to fend for itself. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Uh, not much to go on. But a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? The man who... killed my wife. 
He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it. But that sound... Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? But who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Hey. Where to? Help yourself. I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies. They're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? Let's see if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try?
Hey, Valentine. See if you can get that door open. Go ahead. See if you have any luck with that door. Don't think I can pick this. Hmm, we can't get through that door. No luck? Guess we'll need to find the key. See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. in the next issue, just you wait. Hey, Nat. Ain't got nothing better to do? The mayor's receiving visitors, as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Come on. Can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. Well, you do seem like a sweet guy. All right. I'm just going to leave this key on my desk and forget I put it there. Your son's lucky he has a father like you. I hope you find him. Piper. Hey, here. Something to keep sharp. Always works for me. Is everything okay between us? I suppose things are alright. Just feels like we could be doing more for folks out here, you know? That's all. Alright. You rescued Valentine. Good work. Most sense scared the hell out of me, but Nikki, 
He ain't like those institute psychos. Win the game! Buy a swatter! I don't know why we let Valentine live in the city. He saves one or two people, and everyone forgets he's a freaking synth. the key? All right, let's head in. You do the honors. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. They seem small to you? Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Nothing here. Did you check out that desk? Hmm. What's that for? I'm telling you, something's not right. Look for anything out of sorts. A switch. A button. Look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Any suggestions, Nick? Hmm. What about dog meat? Commonwealth mutt like him can track a man's scent for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. 
you have to face Kellogg on your own. Just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. Any words of wisdom? If Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. Then he's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. Goodbye, Nick. Hopefully not forever. I want to see you and your kids safe and sound when you get back. Good luck. Anytime you need help, just come knocking. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy? Good to be back in Diamond City. This is Vault Tech Interview number 03 for the position of Overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Benjamin Beasley. Mr. Beasley, as Overseer of Vault 114, how would you settle a disagreement between two of your vault residents? Well, I would obviously take it through the proper channels, assuming neither of their requests were against the law, of course. This is, of course, assuming that the conflict had already gone through all the other members of the Vault's Residence Council that I plan on organizing. Vault Residence Council, you say? Yes, of course. People need government. They yearn for it. I think it's a civic duty of every red-blooded American patriot to serve the... Yes, I think we have everything we need here. Thank you for your time. Oh, already? Well... I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yes, I'm sure you will. Please make sure to fill out your non-disclosure agreement on your way out. Lost the scent, boy? Certainly seen better days, haven't it? San Francisco sunlights. Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Okay, boy, let's track him.
position of overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Kimberly Weiss. Hello, Mrs. Weiss. How do you do? And may I just say what an honor it is to even be considered for the position of overseer. Ever since I was a little girl in mock government, I dreamed that one day I would have the opportunity to lead a community to greatness. My teachers all told me I had leadership potential, and without my guidance as student council vice president, those bake sales surely would have failed. I just thought I was able to organize and run this small group, to show them a better way, to lead them to a so bright that they... My goodness. Looks like we're out of time. Well, what? We just started! Yes, yes. Thank you. If you could just send the next message in as you... Oh, uh, of course. Hey, did I mention I was head of my debate team? I'm sure you did. Thank you. We're on the right path, huh? So where'd you go from here? <laughs> Bloody bandages. Dog meat can track this. Okay, boy, let's track him.
past. Meat's got something. See anything? <laughs> A decoy, huh? Clever. It's hidden forever. At least, not if I... I have my say.
attention, <laughs> assailant. Lower your weapons oh, immediately. You think this was Kellogg's handiwork? <laughs> Tracking known mercenary. Exercise extreme Inside, caution. there's... I think someone was using this as a trash can. Alert. Critical signs. Alert. Critical signs. <laughs> Attention, assailant. Lower your weapons immediately. Alert. Critical signs. Alert. Critical signs. Tracking known mercenary. Exercise extreme caution. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. What have we... Another one of his stogies. Can't be far what do you think, boy? See if you can Was find this him. our man? <coughs> Kellogg's still out there. We've got to track him, boy. I can carry something if you need me to.
this the place? Is he in here, boy? This is it, isn't it? Kellogg's here. All right, Blue. It's you and me. I think dog meat's earned some time off. Hey. Where to? Hey, Piper. Cap for your thoughts? Your thoughts? Can't imagine the skirmishes that went on over this place. That's all for now. Okay. Don't worry, dog meat. Just saying hello. Everything okay, boy? Don't worry, dog meat. Just saying hello.
Hey, now you get something's out there. Thank you. 